<laughs> are we doing a classic today? We are doing a classic. So we've got a Greek dish. So we've got the classic flavours in there. We've got cumin, we've got cinnamon for the sweetness, yep. and we're using lamb as well. So we're using mince today. So this is another great uh, mince recipe. It's all going into those into these pizza breads. Well, we're actually going to put them on top, so they're going to be like little Greek mini pizzas oh, wow. with a fried egg on top. Bit fancy. We'll is see it lunch, much. is it breakfast? Who knows? Well, either or, I'm happy with both. <laughs> Great to have you with us in the Beko kitchen, and we're going Greek this morning, Mark. We are going Greek this morning. What are we doing? Right, so we're going to uh, dice some, some onions, and then we're going to start sweating that down. So we're going to make the uh, flavoured mince part of the uh, recipe okay. for the pizza breads. So over here, I can feel the heat coming yeah, off. Yeah, so we've got some heat in there. So olive oil. So uh, Greek cooking, it's all about the olive oil. So Is this really just nice a olive Mark oil. Southern slug in here. Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. So cool. <laughs> Just a wee bit of that. That's where the flavour is. I love that olive oil, by the way. It's delicious. Right. Okay. So we're going to start with the onions first. So nice uh, medium heat in your pan. Get your onions in so you can hear that sizzle. Yep. You can give them a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. Perfect. Um, you know, you can keep stirring them around. You just want to sort of sweat them down. We're not looking for too much colour, just so as they go translucent. And then I've got a bit of garlic, so I'm going to chop that now. So we'll put the garlic in um, a little bit later. Isn't it funny how the simplest of ingredients can really just make you start to salivate? Like onions, salt, pepper, and already I'm going, yep, this oh. is going in my mouth. Oh, I know, that's, and that's it, and it's all about building, you know, just a, those ingredients what you use every day, but if you build them up in like layers, just, yep. you know, and you cook them right, and you don't, uh, you don't overcook them, or you don't burn them, you know, you extract those flavours what you want, you just get amazing um, end result. So you always put me above the onions, because I'm so susceptible, I start crying. It's because Mel's mean to me. <laughs> but so right, let, it out, let it out. To make it look like she's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. What goes in next? Really good. So you can see they're starting to go sort of translucent now. Now yep. you can put the mince in. So we, won't, we don't need to put it all in. And then, yeah, that's it. So as you, we can turn the heat up now because we've just added, um, you know, all that mince, the cold mince to the pan. So we don't want to yep. lose that heat. So you still want to have that sizzle. Uh, and then you can see Braden's just uh, breaking it down as he's sort of stirring it and colouring it. So we want to do this for about sort of three, four minutes. Yep. And you want the mince to, um, you know, not, not be pink anymore. Because there's nothing worse also than stewed mince. Like it's just, yeah. it's that whole breaking it down thing. Yeah, yeah, you don't want that. Right, garlic goes in now as well. And that's going to give some good flavour. When you say not pink on the old mince, you really just mean we're going to brown it, eh? Yeah, 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 just brown it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how Pretty long much. did you reckon? Normally just three to four minutes on that. Yeah, three to four minutes because okay. we're going to bake them in the oven as well. Great. You know, and it's lamb mince, so it's going to, you know, we just want the flavour there. It's going to cook quite fast. So what's going on over here? Right, so I've got some sun-dried tomatoes here. So another sort of, you know, classic Mediterranean um, flavour. Yep. You can get these quite easily in supermarkets now, like in jars. You know, they're just really, really intense, um, you know, pieces of tomato with like herbs and olive oil. I but, you know, in summer you can make these yourself. So, yeah, I was just going to say, how would you do that? So you get your tomatoes, so get really ripe tomatoes, and then cut them in quarters, yep. and then scoop out all the seeds, and then so you're just left with a tomato petal, and yeah. I, would, I just put them on a tray, olive oil, good salt and pepper, and, uh, you know, chop some garlic on there, some rosemary, some thyme, and just, um, you know, if the sun's uh, out and it's really hot, just leave them out on the uh, on the deck to dry. For, like, what, a day, a week? Yeah, it, it, it depends on how, how hot it is, you know, like, you know, give them a full day in the sun and the, wow. they'll probably be dry. Just make sure that, you know, they're quite dry. Yeah. Um, but you'll see as as they're drying, you know, they'll sort of shrivel up a little bit and intensify that flavour. Okay, so what do we need to do with those? Right, so I'm just going to dice them up. Yep. You know, just roughly. And then, you know, have a look at the mince now. So, nice and brown there. Yep, nearly there. Still a few pink bits, but that's okay. We'll just get rid of those. And then I'm going to put all these tomatoes in here. Lovely. Look at that. So, this is going to give us an awesome flavour. Oh, I bet it will. It's Speaking lovely. about flavour, got a little, um, some chilli flakes in there as well. Great. You know, so, great flavour. If you don't want it spicy, obviously don't put them in. Yep. Um, if you like it really spicy, you can put more in. It's all up to you. Um, I've got some ground cumin as well. That goes in. And some cinnamon as well, so that oh, really wow. sweet spices, okay. you know. So yeah, we're very... really starting to get that now, and very much looking forward to seeing how this all comes together. Mark is transporting us to Greece with his pita pockets. This mince is smelling really good, and I um, actually do wish that my mother knew how to chop some sun-dried tomato through mince when I was growing up, because what we had was a whole lot different to that. 
<laughs> it's amazing what you can do with that. And I'm not getting a Christmas ones. present now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can cook this for your mum Yeah, Christmas. maybe I can. <laughs> there you go. Love your mum. So literally, that's only been cooking for probably about 10 minutes from start to finish. Yep. Now we've got all those flavours in there. They're all married together and it's really sort of Greek and it's still got a nice bit of texture. So that is done. So this is how fast the recipe that is. That was easy. Great. You know, if you really wanted to, um, you know, if you're keen cook at home, you could make these yourself. You know, you could uh, just flour, water, yep. yeast, you know, it's a, an easy bread dough Great. and you could make it. But if you don't need to, because you can go to the supermarket and buy is these. Is this a fashion hole or is it a function hole? No, it's a function hole. Right. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to just um, just go through one of the layers of the pita bread and just make a, a nice sort of, you know, just a small little hole, like a little disc. Just be careful at this point. You don't want to slip and cut yourself. Oh, wait, no. And then, you know, you can toast that. You can eat yourself or give that to the kids. It's fine. Perfect. Right. And then now what you want to do is get some mince in there. Put a couple of spoons in. Oh, I see what you're doing there. All right. So you're making a hole so you can pack it in a bit more. Yep. But then now I'm going to push the mince to the side and create another cavity. Ooh. All right. This is like a tide in the hole. A little bit, yeah. Oh, it's like a posh Greek toad in a hole, isn't it? Oh, I love it. it. You'll be selling them for a hundred bucks a piece soon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Posh Greek toad in a hole. And then crack an egg in there. Look at oh, that. It doesn't matter that. if it all goes all over the place. Pour it now, give it a little bit of seasoning on top of the egg. That is one. And good another one. little tip, some olive oil, and make sure that goes on the edge of the pit of bread. You know, right. you can just cover that in the olive oil well, and that's gonna make it nice and finger. crispy. So what do we do? Let me. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you to uh, build the next one. Just so mince in first. Mince, smash a bit of mince in there, which I'm usually pretty good at. Um, and then the trick is to to. So we want to just sort of make sure it's going in a bit. Yeah, and make and make a the hole big enough to crack the egg in. Right. How many sort of spoonfuls were you putting in here? Uh, it's probably about three spoonfuls or so. Yeah. You know, if you've got bigger pit breads, you can put more in. You know, you can make one giant one and just bake it all in the oven and then just put it on the table and you could all carve up from that. But it's quite nice to make these individual ones. Great. I'm, I'm making a real mess of this. Get, no, no, it's good. It's good. It's all going to taste the same, so it's fine. And as long as you had fun doing it, that's the main thing. I absolutely always have fun with you, Mark. Now this, <laughs> to, truth be told, we want to share this with people, so I'm going to get you to do this because <laughs> no, there's one thing I, well, there's a number of things that I can't do, but cracking an egg, hopeless. Right, so cracking an egg, yep. get a hard surface and give it a good firm whack and then you can just pull it apart. Yes, it's it at in. that point half the shell would be in there. <laughs> so we throw these in the Beko oven for how long? Yeah, so about 180 degrees for about sort of, you know, eight, oh, six to eight minutes or so, maybe a little bit uh, longer. Just want to make sure the egg's all cooked, the white's yep. cooked and the uh, yolk's still nice and runny. Mm if you Favourite. like it that way. You know, the mince is cooked, the bread will go nice and crispy because you've got that nice olive oil around there, and then they, they are good to go. All yes. I'm going to do is finish it, a little bit of chopped parsley, and uh, some fresh Greek yoghurt. Too easy. It screams me and my fat pants on a Friday night, to be honest. <laughs> really easy. The full recipe is on our website, so you can enjoy making these at home. All right, this looks delicious, Mark. What is on the menu tomorrow? All right, tomorrow I've got Sun Choi Bao. Oh, yum. Also, we're going to be enjoying your starring role in John on Beer tonight. <laughs> yeah. Watch it.